Hello mga kawamat! In this video lesson, we'll discuss about the classification of quadrilaterals. So, a quadrilateral is a four-sided polygon. Quadrilaterals are named using the consecutive vertices. And the symbol, this one, is used to denote a quadrilateral. So, for example, meron tayong uh, polygon. We have A, B, C, and D. So, let's say, paano natin in-names yung quadrilateral? So, sabi kanina, so, yung quadrilateral can be named using the uh, consecutive vertices. So, yung mga vertices na sinasabi, class, ito ay, no? Ayan po. So, kapag nag-name tayo ng quadrilateral, so, dapat magkasunod. So, hindi pwede yung uh, B, D, A, C. So, dapat magkasunod. Let's say, quadrilateral B, C, D, A. So, dapat magkasunod sila. Hindi yung quadrilateral A, C, D, B. Okay. So, ito yung mga possible names ng quadrilateral na given natin. So, pwedeng quadrilateral A, B, C, D. Uh, B, C, D, A C, D, A, B or D, A, B, C Okay, pwede rin naman na D, C, B, A or C, B, A, D or B, A, D, C and a, D, C, B. So, ito yung mga possible names ng quadrilaterals natin. And, uh, quadrilateral ladder. So, yung pair of consecutive angles, so, pag sinabi natin consecutive angles, so, magkatabi sila. No? Magkatabi. So, kagaya ni angle A and angle C. Okay, again class, this is a pair of opposite angles. So, kapag kukunin natin yung opposite angles, so, yung magkaharap no, na angle. So, for ex, we have angle A and angle C. And then, we have angle B and angle D. So, yan yung halimbawa ng opposite angles. Pag sinabi naman natin, so, kapag kukunin natin yung consecutive sides, Yung consecutive sides ay magkatabing sides. Okay, for example, AB and BC. So, yung, ito, yung side na to at saka side na to, that is consecutive. Okay? And then, pwede rin na side BC and side CD. Or, pwede rin na side CD and side DA. Or, Side DA and side AB. Okay, so that is the consecutive sides. So, yung diagonal, so kapag ginuhita natin ito ng line, second mula kay point A to point C, so ang maging diagonal natin, that's with, so ito yung AC saka BD. Okay? So, yan yung mga kung paano natin in-name no, yung parts ng quadrilaterals. So, quadrilateral are classified as follows. First, parallelo, uh, a parallel, parallelogram is a quadrilateral with two pairs of parallel sides. Okay, so, ta, tingnan natin. So, sabi daw, this quadrilateral is a with two pairs of parallel sides. So, ito, yung nasa taas at itong nasa baba, parallel sila. At itong nasa side, parallel din sila. Okay? And that is parallelogram. Next is a rhombus. So, yung rhombus natin is a quadrilateral with two pairs of congruent sides. So, again, rhombus is a quadrilateral with two pairs of congruent sides. So, pag sinabi natin congruent, so, they are equal. So, ibig sabihin, itong side na ito, saka itong side na ito, equal yan. No? And then, yung side na ito, saka itong side na ito, equal din. Next is a rectangle is a quadrilateral with four right angles. 
So again, a rectangle is a quadrilateral with four right angles. So, ibig sabihin kapag right angles yan, so ang measure nito ng bawat angle nila ay 90 degrees. Next is a square is a quadrilateral with four congruent angles and four congruent sides. So, parang pinagsama si rhombus sa si rectangle dun sa square. Okay, so equal lahat ng side, then equal din lahat ng angles niya. Okay. A trapezoid is a quadrilateral with exact uh, with exact one pair of parallel side. So this is an example of trapezoid. So isang pares lang, no? Isang pair lang ng parallel yung parallel sides meron siya. Hindi ka guys sa uh, uh, parallelogram, rhombus, rectangle, and square no, Merong dalawang pairs of parallel sides So, si tra trapezoid may isa lang And then, may isang klase tayo ng trapezoid Na tinatawag So, kapag yung dalawang uh, Yung legs niya So, ito Ay congruent Ang tawag natin doon They are uh, that is a uh, isosceles trapezoid no kapag yung legs nung ang legs nito ay congruent or equal ibig sabihin uh, they are congruent kasi yung parts ng trapezoid class ito base to ang tawag dito ito saka ito base yan and then ito naman ang tawag naman natin diyan leg so kapag ito ay equal ang tawag natin diyan ay isosceles trapezoid Yung kite naman is a quadrilateral with two distinct pairs of consecutive sides that are congruent. So, sa kite class, wala tayong parallel sides. Uh, but, meron tayo yung dalawang sides nila, no? na, uh, yung dalawang magkatabing sides, equal yan. Ganun din ito. So, ibig sabihin ito, saka ito equal yan. So, itong side na ito, saka itong side equal din. So, kung titignan natin yung family tree ni quadrilateral, so, meron tayong, okay, so, linasified natin into three according to their uh, parallel lines. So, dito, so, may isang pares na parallel, okay, dito naman may dalawang pairs of parallel lines, dito wala, okay. So, si parallelogram, so, under niya, Okay, under sa kanya si rhombus at rectangle. So, under kay rhombus and rectangle si square. Kasi si square, yung uh, characteristics niya ay na kay rhombus at saka kay rectangle. So, sabi kanina, di ba si rhombus, all sides are congruent. Si rectangle naman, all angles are congruent. And right angle yon no? So, pinagsama, no, yung dalawang... Uh, properties nila na kay square. So dito naman kay trapezoid, so sabi ko kanina, meron lang isang pares na parallel uh, isang pares ng parallel side. So kapag yung legs ay congruent ang tawag natin ay isosceles trapezoid. So dito sa isa si kite, so wala talagang parallel sides dito. Okay? So ito yung uh, family tree ni quadrilateral Minsan, binibigay ito sa test. So, ilalagay nyo kung uh, ano yung mga under kay paralelogram. So, kailangan tandaan nyo rin. Okay, state the most uh, example class. Let's say, uh, we identify, no? Using the marking. So, anong klaseng uh, quadrilaterals to? So, for number one, since uh, yung marking natin dito is yung base, and yung base natin ay parallel so therefore ano siya trapezoid ba ay so trapezoid kite or quadrilateral yes that is trapezoid next so yung marking na yan ganyan ibig sabihin pare-pareho same yung congruent yung sides nila at same din yung mga angles nila they are right angles so therefore kite ba siya trapezoid square or quadrilateral Yes, that is a square. Next. Uh, so, si number 3, same with number 1. So, and that is trapezoid then. 
And number four, so all sides are congruent. So sabi kanina, so all sides are congruent. So that is a rhombus. And then next is number five. So two distinct uh, consecutive sides are congruent. So ito magka same sila. They are equal. Ganun din dito. Pero wala silang parallel sides. So ano yan? Yes, kite. That is kite. Number six. Okay. Uh, they have yung angles niya ay congruent. And then, meron siyang dalawang pairs ng uh, two pairs of parallel sides. No? And itong side nito, saka itong side nito, equal. Saka itong side nito, saka side nito, equal. So, they are congruent. So, ano yan? Yes, that is a rectangle. Okay, next. So, tingnan natin yung figure na to. So, ito class at saka ito, equal sila. Tapos ito naman, ay no, parallel rather. So, ito ay parallel. Tapos itong side na to, saka yung side na to ay congruent. Yes, that is isosceles trapezoid. Kasi yung legs nila, congruent. Next, number 8. So, number 8, ito. So, ito ay yung base nila, parallel, and then congruent yung leg. So, therefore, isosceles trapezoid then. So, number 9. So, sa number 9, hindi natin siya pwedeng hulaan, no? Kasi wala siyang marking. So, hindi natin alam kung rect ano ba siya. Hindi mo pwedeng sabihin kite. Kasi walang marking na congruent to sa kaito. So, therefore... That is a quadrilateral. Okay? Kapag walang marking, so hindi natin masasabi na uh, may congruent ba sa itong side na ito, saka ito. So, that is quadrilateral. Number 10, ganun din. Wala tayong marking para ma-identify natin kung anong klaseng quadrilateral. So, therefore, yan ay quadrilateral. Okay? Next, the quadrilateral angle sum theorem. So, ang sabi dito, kapag in down natin, no? yung angles nila sum of the interior angles in a quadrilateral is 360 degree so kapag ined natin ito kapag ined natin lahat ng angles let's say angle A, B, C, and D so kapag ined natin ang sum niyan ay 360 degree so for example meron tayong quadrilateral uh, Q, R, S, T Okay, ngayon hinahanap yung angle T. So sabi kanina sa quadrilat angle sum theorem, nung quadrilateral angle sum theorem natin, dapat 360 to kapag inad. So first, kinukuha natin, alam natin kapag inad natin si angle Q plus angle R plus angle S plus angle T, that is equal to 360 degree. And then, so pagkukunin natin, Si angle T, so substitute lang natin yung angle Q natin. That is 79 degree plus 88 degree plus 108 degree plus angle T na hinahanap natin is equal to 360. Tapos add natin. Then lipat natin. So this is 275 degree. So lipat natin sa kabila. So therefore, 360 minus 275, that is 85 degree. Okay? Or... Kapag sanay na kayo class, madali na lang, no? Add nyo lang to tapos i-minus sa, uh, i-minus from 360 degree. Next. So, same process, no? Uh, kapag kukunin natin to, add natin tong tatlo, and then minus natin from 360 degree. So, that is, add lang natin yung tatlo na to, And that is 300. So, 360 minus 300, the answer is 60 degree. Next, solve for x. So, meron tayong marking dito. So, ibig sabihin kapag may ganito tayo class, ibig sabihin that is a right angle. So, kapag right angle, ang measure ng angle na yun ay 90 degree. So, kung kukunin natin yung x dito, so paano gagawin? So, add muna natin lahat ito. Okay, so ang measure ni angle R is 90 degree. And then equals natin sa 360. So, 
15x plus 90 plus 95 plus 85 is equal to 360. And then, combine similar terms. So, 90 plus 95 plus 85, that is 270. So, dipat natin dito sa kabilang side. So, may iwan dito sa left side, 15x. And then, 15x is equals to 90, solve for x. So, paano natin solve sa x? I-divide natin both equation by 15. So, 90 divide 15, yung sagot natin ay 6. So, kung kukunin natin yung measure ni angle Q, so, substitute lang natin. So, 15x or 15 times 6, papalitan yung x. So, ibig sabihin this is 90. So, ang sukat nito, nung angle, ah, yung measure ng angle Q natin is 90 degree. Next. Okay. So, same process class. Add natin lahat to. Dapos equals natin sa 360. Okay. So, 80 plus 101 plus 85 plus 14x minus 4 is equal to 360. So, combine similar terms. Add natin sa 80 plus 101 plus 85 minus 4. And that is 262. So, nilipat ko na dito sa uh, right side natin. So, 262. So, 14x is equal to 360 minus 262. So, ga nanggaling si 262 dito kay 80 plus 101 plus 85 minus 4. And then, 360 minus 262, that is 98. Solve for x. Divide natin both equation by 14. So, 98 divide 14. The answer is 7. So, kung kukunin natin si angle N. So, pag kinuha natin si angle N, that is 14 times 7 minus 4. The answer is 94. So, ito ay 94. So, para ma-check nyo na tama yung sagot natin, i-add nyo, no? Add nyo kung 360. Okay, another. Meron tayong uh, given, no? So, paano natin masosolve si x? So, ganun lang din. Add lang natin lahat. That's 95 plus 83 plus 48x minus 1 plus 42x plus 3 is equal to 360. So, combine similar terms. So, pagsamahin natin si 48x saka si 42x. So, that is 90x. And then, pagsamahin natin si 95 plus 83 minus 1 plus 3 and that is 180 so lipat natin sa right side so 360 minus 180 that is 180 so solve for x so divide natin both equation by 90 so x is equal to 2 so kung kukunin natin si angle w or angle b muna so substitute lang natin si x and that is 95 Si angle W naman, substitute natin din yung X. So, 42 times 2 plus 3, that is 87. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.